Hair and first class Ashley Cook. Well, next on our program is an audience participation number. We're going to need your help with this. This is a sing-along of some popular patriotic songs that we as the Air Force Band of Liberty have been so very proud to present over the last many years, three decades here. I'm going to invite back onto the stage uh, Airman First Class Ashley Cook. Also, some other former vocalists with the Air Force Band of Liberty. Keisha Goodwin, who is now with the uh, Air Force Band of Mid-America at Scott Air Force Base. And we're also inviting back uh, Chief Master Sergeant Retired Chris Idris. So would you please welcome them to the stage and join us in our patriotic seminar.
Chief Master Sergeant Retired Chris Seager, Second Sergeant Keisha Goodwin Airman, First Class Ashley Cook. Well, before we go on, we want to thank our sponsors uh, this evening because, as Colonel Weilacher mentioned, uh, no government funds were used for this event, and we relied solely on the donations of uh, corporations and private individuals. And we want to thank uh, our friends at the Union Oyster House, and specifically Mr. Angelo Picardi, uh, who provided a catered lunch for the band yesterday in our long afternoon of rehearsal. We also want to say a very special thanks to the Hanscom Spouses Club, who provided funds not only for the printed programs you see here this afternoon, but also helped us uh, get some water bottle mementos with today's very special date and farewell concert for each of the alumni and band members uh, participating this afternoon. So thanks to the Hanscom Spouses Club for their support. Very special thanks to Alpha Graphics who helped us print the programs and also helped provide us uh, with some advertising along with the Worcester Telegram and Gazette who uh, ran a wonderful article uh, in the paper and uh, as soon as that article came out, that one in the one in the Boston Globe, our ticket uh, distribution went through the roof. So a very special thanks to them for helping us uh, get the word out about this final concert. Most importantly, though, we want to thank Mechanics Hall, specifically Ms. Kathy Ganji. Um, we tried very hard to line up sponsors to cover the cost of the hall, and when we couldn't find it, Mechanics Hall donated the use of this facility for us to be here this afternoon. So I'm going to ask Kathy to join you here on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Ms. Kathy Gaines. So. I know. We were talking backstage. 18 years, our relationship with the Band of Liberty and Kathy goes back. And what a wonderful relationship it has been. Uh, I know the uh, Air Force uh, band down at Langley Air Force Base will make every effort to be up here as often as possible, and I know you will treat them with the same love as you've given to us. Now, when we do the Brown Bag Concert Series during the winter time, it's usually WICN Radio that's up here and, and accepts the picture and the plaque. And so, uh, Kathy and the folks here at Mechanics Hall have nothing really from us, I think, over the years. But that's going to change. And we've done something very special only for you. Uh, normally when we give a framed photo of the band, we give the photo that we took at the Nubble Lighthouse, which is included on this one. However, this year, we've included a photo of the band from 1986 taken on this very stage, and also from 2002 on this very stage as well. To our dear friends in Worcester and Mechanics Hall, thank you for your years of support. Kathy, thank you. This is also the water bottle we were talking about. It has the Band of Liberty in our farewell concert of March 10th, 2013. Kathy, thank you for the years of support. We will miss you tremendously. There's three members of the band that I want to recognize this afternoon who are making their final appearance, not only here with the Air Force Band of Liberty, but with the United States uh, Air Force. They are going to be retiring at the end of this uh, fiscal year, and I wanted to say a very special thanks uh, to them. First of all, uh, he's been my band manager and superintendent, uh, first sergeant, resident, uh, resource advisor, uh, jack of all trades, master of all of them, and just a great friend as well, uh, Senior Master Sergeant Mark Stanford.
back in the trumpet section, just an, an incredible lead trumpet player who has just amazed me every time he picks up the horn and just plays the way he does, uh, Master Sergeant Ted Stearns. Not with us this afternoon. Um, he had a family emergency he had to take care of, but my current first sergeant, Master Sergeant Paul Perez, will also be retiring. So please keep him and his family uh, in your thoughts and prayers. We wish Paul all the best of luck in his retirement as well. And finally, uh, when things like this happen, when PCS moves, uh, people have to make tough decisions of whether or not uh, they want to stay and make the Air Force a career. And this uh, next gentleman has made a very tough decision and has decided to separate to pursue some educational opportunities and other opportunities to stay here in the local area. Uh, an incredible musician. His work ethic is like none I've never seen. He has organized so many special events for the band to include our recital series as money became scarce. Uh, Mickey Ireland um, took an idea that I had and just ran with it as farther than I could ever have imagined and partnered with so many people to bring just an exquisite recital series that members of the band have been able to participate in. And uh, I know it was a tough decision. You will be sorely missed. And Mickey, thank you for your years of service. God bless you. Thank you. Mickey Ireland. There's one final group of people who we need to thank this afternoon, and I'm going to turn the microphone over once again to Major Scott Gidry. Thank you.